your first alert forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. All right, Laura's here with our weekend forecast. It's going to be a, a rough one, at least a rough start to it. And uh, if you had some early plans tomorrow or anything during the daytime, you may want to look at the radar, at least watch the roads and see how it's going to be because it looks like anywhere in mid Michigan tomorrow is going to be a mess. Let's take a look at the Fox 47 Doppler radar. Not too much to look at right now, but notice that the snow is starting to creep up from the south. Not very heavy currently. Coldwater and Hillsdale have seen just light snow through the evening. Even Jackson is starting to see a couple snowflakes coming on in. But we've got a while before the heavy snow comes in. That'll be here tomorrow morning. And in fact, by about 8 o'clock, a lot of us are going to start seeing half an inch to an inch of snow already on the ground. By the end of the day, some of us will have several inches of snow. Some of us will be dealing with a rain snow mix. And uh, some of us also have a chance for ice. So we're all in a winter weather advisory. And here's a look at the counties that are included in that. Everybody in the purple, which is everybody in mid Michigan, and this will be expiring tomorrow evening. So we've got a full 24 hours before we see the end of that. Temperatures are going to be an issue in this forecast because some of us will see those temperatures above freezing. Some of us will be right at freezing. Currently, we're all below. But sticking into those low 20s, mid 20s, some of us even in the teens will fall just a couple more degrees. But look at this future track. We've got temperatures rising, especially to the southwest, above freezing and well above freezing, which is going to be a big factor in the type of precipitation you see tomorrow. In general, off to the northwest, you're going to stick off with snow. Anywhere in between there and uh, where the temperatures, especially in the evening, are holding into the 30s, we'll be seeing that rain snow mix possible. And off to the south, you'll be starting with snow and mixing in with rain later on. And uh, those that are, of course, going to see those temperatures above freezing will have to deal with them going below freezing at night once again. So snow to the northwest, rain snow mixed to the southeast. This is going to be a heavy, wet snow, and we're all going to be below freezing once again. So those of us will see, um, everyone has a chance to see some slick roads uh, setting up and slushy as well with that very heavy, thick snow. So here's a look at the future track. Let's watch this low pressure system come on up. First, here comes the warm front that'll push our temperatures to around freezing tomorrow. Look at this, 7 o'clock, we're already seeing snow coming in. Heavy snow comes through, and look at this, that pink, that's that rain-snow mix line. Green, that's the rain that we have. Everywhere off to the northwest of that is going to be that mixing. So it looks like I-94 is going to be the biggest problem where we see the ice possible. And then we really clear out that low pressure system moves on through very quickly. Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, very sunny for us. And uh, we'll see a couple more quiet days before another round of snow. Here's a look at snowfall totals, though. Half an inch already, 8 o'clock in the morning in Mason. And it looks like we're close to that in Lansing. Some of us very close, including cold water, already to an inch. Now, those off to the southeast are going to get a couple quick inches of snow in the morning transitioning over. That's why you have the lesser amounts. Those to the northwest are going to stick with all snow. These estimates look a little high. We're going to say um, about two inches less than that, especially off to the northwest, but about five to seven in this general area and less as you continue off to the southeast. But this is, again, the heavy wet snow, and if temperatures climb just even two degrees higher than what they're forecasted, well, we could see different totals coming out of this. 24 tonight. Tomorrow is going to be the very active day, though. 33 for Lansing. If you're off to the southeast, expect temperatures into the mid and upper 30s for highs. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. At least it quiets down after that. We've got a few days quiet weather Tuesday evening into Wednesday is the next snowfall, and then we cool down back to the teens once again. So we've got uh, a relatively quiet weekend for the second half, but the first half looking a little so rough much. for the roads. Well, hopefully most people have had plenty of time to plan their Super Bowl parties, head out yes. to the store, get everything they need. So Oh, man, Sunday, I bet that's going to be a mad rush at the store. There probably is. So with the snow out there, too, it's going to be extra yes. need to be careful, right? Yes. All right, we got it. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10.